hello guys welcome back so in this tiny video i want to discuss a, a very basic difference which is very very essential to in order to learn and in order to diagnose soft tissue lesions because epithelium is of different types when you have a stratified squamous epithelium you know that how to identify them very easily right columnar has a different morphology cuboidal has a different morphology transitional has a different morphology but when you go to mesenchymal tissues almost every mesenchymal tissue what you have ever known is spindle shape that's how mesenchymal tissues are, right? So mesenchymal tissues, it's a bit difficult for me to say, yes, it's a fibroblast or a myofibroblast or leo or rhabdomyomo with a very superficial knowledge. So in order to identify these different types of cells, we need to know how they exactly look so that I can diagnose a fibroma or a myofibroma. You can know the difference. Leovema versus the rhabdomyoma. You can know the difference, right? So in this tiny video, I'm going to discuss about the difference between a fibroblast, a myofibroblast, a, le a smooth muscle, and a skeletal muscle right so if you're ready for the game as usual put on a smile and let's start so i'm not having my picture here i just want the slides images these are just static images taken from different case scenarios i'll tell you whatever case scenarios are taken from so that you can easily relate them in real life as well right let's let's look at this image right so this is an image i'll tell you which tumor i took it from later on so that you can have an uh, easy realization when you look at the tumor in future right if you look at these cells here i'm sure most of you will agree that they do have an elongated nuclei they are spindle shaped cells there's no problem in identifying that it's a spindle shaped cell right so when you look at these nuclei they are like very very thin nuclei they're very very slender nuclei right some of sometimes it's very hard to find this nuclei here it's very thin very thin nuclei and obviously there's a good amount of pink cytoplasm that's why in spite of having so many cells the slide looks pink in color right so i'm having a pink color cytoplasm and i do have the nuclei in the center or in the corner but it's a very thin nuclei if you look at the cytoplasm it's not like a pink blotch of cell right blot color it's not a, like a uniform dense pink color cytoplasm but you look at them they are fibers look at these wherever you see the cytoplasm they are like fibers laid on it right here also right fibers laid on it here also look at this this fibers laid on it right so everywhere here what's happening is there are layers of fibers if, if they're perfectly wavy fibers right so this is how collagen fibers looks like a very thin nuclei with lots of fibers surrounding them making the entire structure extremely wavy this is how a fibroblast looks this is from a dfsp case so this is how every any fibroblastic tumor is going to look they have a very very thin cell with good amount of ample pink cytoplasm and the cytoplasm is going to be wavy that's very very characteristic of a fibroblast right so we know how to identify fibroblast right i'll go to the next cell here next slide so again i'll tell you what case it is soon right if you look at this cell I, I'm sure that you have the mental image of the fibroblast with you, right? If not that, uh, maybe this part is like a fibroblast, right? Let's look at this, fine? Compared to this thin nuclei, to this, or to this, or to this, or to this, or to this. Can I say here, whatever nuclei I'm pointing out here, they are a bit bulky? Or can I call it a plump nuclei? Definitely, right? Maybe this is a very thin one. Look at this. All these rest, majority of the nuclei here are plump. When the nuclei is plump, blue in color, I have one, well, that's one finding here. If you look at every nuclei, it kind of like it has a common tail like thing of blue area, right? It is a blue projection downwards, it has a blue projection downwards, it has a blue projection downwards, right? A plump nuclei with a blue projecting tail surrounded by a pink cytoplasm. That's how myofibroblast looks. I want you to remember myofibroblast very carefully because myofibroblast is seen in majority of the healing tissues like nodular fasciitis, you'll see them, proliferative fasciitis, you'll see them. And I do have cases of myofibroblastomas as well, right? So you need to know how a myofibroblast looks. A fibroblast is a very, very thin wavy nuclei with lots of fibers surrounding them. Myofibroblast is a cell with a plump nuclei with a bluish extension from the nuclei and surrounded by pink cytoplasm. I'll show you one more area, the same case of myofibroblast. Okay, this is one more image of the same uh, slide what you saw yesterday, right? And the last slide. This last slide was a case from a case of a myofibroblastoma. This also is from the same case, but a different place, that's all. Why I want you to show this place as well as this here, there's lots of dense cells. 
in the previous image of myofibril patch what you saw the amount of cells was less here there's lots of dense cell so here the entire field kind of looks blue right kind of amphophilic to basophilic cytoplasm because every nuclei has a common tailing of blue color common tailing of blue color blue color cytoplasm also appears a little bit bluish in color because myofibroblasts they are more active like i said it's a regenerating tissue during regeneration obviously the protein production is going to become more so that's more mrna content that's what makes the myofibroblasts have a bluish cytoplasm or the bluish comet tailing of the nuclei here also you can see little bit collagen 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 the fibers are easily seen here as well right so that's how it looks a myofibroblast will have a bluish comet tail fibroblast will have a very thin nuclei with lots of wavy fibers of collagen compressing the entire one right now now let's go to the next image here next again obviously right obviously it's a it's a definitely a spindle shaped cell there's no point no, no doubt in that it's a spindle shaped cell it's a mesenchymal tissue here here actually i'm having two spindle shaped cell and i want to compare uh, with them each other so that you will never have a confusion again so this nuclei if you look at it that's what you must have been told in your gynecology posting of your uh, pathology department that a cigar shaped nuclei right you will be teaching your undergraduate as well when you have a perfect cigar shaped nuclei it's perfect it's perfect cigar shape most of them are perfect cigar shape ignore this uh, buckling here and there it's not the nerve buckling it's a normal cigar shape it's a bundle of a muscle fiber so that it looks like that that's all perfect cigar shape nuclei cigar shape cigar shape cigar shape ignore this part as well it's a axis the axis is cut way below so that i'm not seeing a perfect cigar shape here right so a c perfect cigar shape nuclei surrounded by an amazing pink amount of cytoplasm is how smooth muscle looks you might think that Fibroblasts also had a spindle-shaped nuclei with pink cytoplasm. So how do I differentiate? Look at the corner. This is how collagen looks. Collagen is a fibers. Muscle is a protein. The muscle is pink in color because of actin and myosin, a blotch of protein. Here they are fibers. If it looks like fibers like this with a spindle-shaped cell, that's a fibroblast. If it looks uniformly pink in color, cigar-shaped nuclei, that's a smooth muscle. I hope you are able to differentiate the smooth muscle and the fibroblast in the same image as well, right? So we know about fibroblasts. We know about myofibroblast and also we know about your smooth muscle. That's your Leo, right? Smooth muscle, right? The last but not the least, the skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle, I would say, is one of the easiest one, right? This is from a cardiac, uh, it's from cardiac rhabdomyoma, uh, adjacent structure of the cardiac muscle which I took here. The only thing which I want you to concentrate here is the nuclei, as usual, is going to be elongated. That's not a concern here. Be it a normal striated muscle or a rhabdomyoblast or a rhabdomyosarcoma. What is more important is striations. It's actually an oil immersion image. That's why it looks kind of a little bit blurred. But only in this oil immersion, you can see the striations. Can you see them? You can, right? You can see the striations like what you read in your Guyton or your anatomy textbook. Exactly the same. They are straight and muscle, right? If you feel it's difficult to pick up striations in a light microscopy, there's a stain called PTAH, phosphotungstenic acid hematoxylin. It will beautifully highlight striations, right? But it's not required. Whenever you see a muscle fiber, skeletal muscle, which is a part and parcel of some other excision, you go and look at it in the microscopy. You have a mastectomy. If there's some pectoral is attached, cut and see how it looks. You have an, any soft tissue lesion removed, uh, amputation, cut and see how muscle fiber looks. It will, it should have striation, right? That's how a striated muscle fiber looks. So I'm coming to the end of this module. So our main goal was here to differentiate fibro, Myofibro, smooth muscle and skeletal muscle. I hope the difference is sorted. Fibro will have a very thin nuclei with wavy fibers on either side of them. That's your collagen fibers. Myofibro will have a nu blue nuclei, plump nuclei with blue cytoplasm of the RNA. Might be completely blue in color the entire field if the cells are more. Otherwise, you'll have a pink color surrounding as well, right? Smooth muscle, perfect cigar shape with a pink blotch of cytoplasm. Skeletal muscle, like you can see, the striation stills, it's a skeletal muscle, fine? Thank you for your time. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.